Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. Got a quick demo of iTunes in the cloud beta. This will be available for everybody once 10.3 is out to download. Currently, for some reason, it's available at 10.2.2, but it should update shortly. Link is down below. Luckily, my good friend Devin Snipes was able to hook me up with iTunes 10.5. So if you guys want to check him out, his Twitter and website is down below in the description. He's an awesome, awesome iOS developer. So just to give you guys a demo, I'm logged into iTunes right now on my Mac, recording this with ScreenFlow. Just picked up the new Death Cab for Cutie album. That's all purchased. It's all synced to my Mac. Let me go ahead and open up iTunes on my iPhone so you guys can check that out. Uh, now there's going to be a tab purchased right here. You can head over to recent purchases. There's two tabs, everything that's on your phone and everything that's not on your phone. So we can head to this tab, recent purchases, and then everything that I bought right now on my Mac will be ready to sync up without a wire. Uh, now once the official iCloud comes out, it's going to be automatic and instantaneous, but for now you manually got to do it. So here's everything I haven't downloaded. Let's go ahead and just select that. We'll head over to the more section, downloads, and there is the song downloading. So while that's happening, uh, let's go ahead and head back to the iTunes store. Just to show you guys in real time, let's go back to music. Uh, for now, I will just buy a single, just to demonstrate that. All right, so let's go ahead and buy a new single from Linkin Park. Purchase, yes, it's gonna download. You guys can check out the progress across the bar. Obviously, it's gonna be much faster on Wi-Fi. Uh, now we can head over to the iPhone, purchased. And back to this tab, not on this iPhone. Right now everything's loading up. Recent purchases again. And there you go. There's the Linkin Park song that I just purchased on my Mac, ready for download, and we're good to go. Now just let me head back to ScreenFlow. It does work vice versa. I bought a Coldplay song on my iPhone, and this is actually available on my Mac, so you go to Recent Purchases. And there is the Coldplay song straight from my iPhone. So everything works very well right now in the beta. Just wanted to show off a little demo to you guys. Uh, again, this is just the beta for you guys to do this. Once 10.3 is officially out, you guys will be able to do this. Again, that link is down below. Again, check out Devin Snipes. His links are down below. Check out our two latest videos covering E3, as well as more iOS 5 and iCloud coverage. Feel free to subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.